Ever since uh, Joe Biden dropped out of the race, I wondered who was going to take his place. And uh, it's Kamala Harris. I wonder why people want to vote for her. We don't want Trump. Okay. I know Donald Trump's type. And in this campaign, I will proudly, I will proudly put my record against his. Here's someone else who wants to make Donald Trump look bad. But she also recognizes that Kamala Harris supports corporate rule and the war genocide on Palestine. So the unique thing about the Green Party is that we are the one national party that is not corrupted by corporate money, by lobbyist money, or by super PACs. So we have the unique ability to actually stand up for what it is that the American people want. What wonder what else she's supporting. And bailing out a generation of young people, like we bailed out the bankers on Wall Street, we can do that for this generation and uh, unleash them to be the stimulus package of our dreams Can make higher education free and health care as a human right and create a welcoming path to citizenship and police violence and a foreign policy that's based on international law, human rights, and economic justice. I'm sure Kamala Harris will make more excuses to support military and spend money on military. And she says things. She says she supports reproductive rights. She says she supports LGBTQ+. Plus. So does Jill Stein. Jill Stein supports reproductive rights. Jill Stein supports uh, LGBTQ+. Plus. I'm still going to vote for her. I trust her. I don't trust somebody that Biden himself wants to have elected. I trust somebody that he doesn't want to have elected. Jill Stein.